Hello and welcome to another Glenys Garnet Creative Images video. This is quite a short video, hopefully only about 10 minutes. And um, it's really just to show you or give you an idea of building, making your own texture layers. Um, I'll often combine texture layers to create my own. And it's often a little bit easier than, than creating them from scratch. Um, and I've opened these two images on the side here because this particular texture layer here is one that I created for these two images. And I may use them in slightly different ways, like I might flip them or I might change the colour, the saturation slightly and the colour balance. But generally, it's it's a nice way of actually giving a good look and feel in images that, that if you want to do a series of images and you want to create some similar backgrounds or you want to have a similar look and, and feel to them. So we're going to start off by, like we usually do, clicking all the layers off. And I started off with a 15 by 15, 300 DPI blank layer here. And I've pulled in two separate textures. I think these are the flypaper textures. And I've just laid them on the sides, just, just turned them around and, and, and fitted them against each other. Um, because I want to get this this sort of idea of a horizon and some colour at this this and on this side that's different to this side. Now, obviously, we we wouldn't use it like that. Uh, what I want to do then, when I've done that, is I need to sort of get some blending on this layer and, and make it look a little bit different and um, uh, a little bit more random. So what I've done is I've created a layer from the bottom two layers, so it's just a combined layer if you like so um, you can do that and then um, I've used the smudge tool if we go over to the left here you've got a, a smudge tool and if we pick a brush like a, a concept brush which is sort of quite random uh, that actually helps to make the more random brush strokes on the um, on, on, on the image rather than just a, a, a plain round brush so if we start to use the brush on various parts of the image concentrating obviously initially on initially on blending this this line across the middle and in fact what i will do is i'll create a new layer from that and we'll we'll start that from scratch there we go we'll do some blending on here and you can see then what what I do with this it can take a little while to catch up with you when you're doing this but you get the idea you're going through and you're doing some random random changes and smudging smudge down smudge up so you just you basically want to try and create a um, an indistinguishable line in the middle there so I'm just going to stop that I'm just going to delete that layer when it's caught up with me there we go I'm going to delete that layer and we'll go back to the layer that I created there I'm happy with that and then all I've done from that point onwards is just add other textures and some colour changes so in this case we've added an Adobe paper texture layer and if we go to normal on that you'll see that that's like the swirly layer um, which is quite nice and we've, we've used the soft light on that um, the soft light blend mode and then I've just added some color balance, balance adjustments in so adjusting the mid-tones on there blues and again this is just a personal thing just do what what you want feels right for you the same with the the, the hue saturation layer I've um, I've created a I think I've changed the yellows on this move the yellow all the way up there and again, this is personal look and feel, what, whatever it is you're looking for. And then from this point on, I've just created a, a layer from the layers below. So that was a, a control shift alt E. Again, I'm not sure what the command is on Mac. I'm sorry for Mac users. Um, you'll have to come back to me and tell me what it is. Um, and then we finally just added another texture layer. Another, uh, this is an Adobe paper texture layer. And if we go to the normal, you can see that that's just a grungy layer. And we go back to overlay. And that's more or less it. We'd go, uh, we'd do a save on that, save that as um, 
a PSD and then probably a JPEG. And then we can use that to bring in to any of the images. If I want to get a look and feel that looks similar, I can use the same texture layer. And that would act as a background layer in, uh, in one of these image, images. And if I show you this particular image, you'll see... That background layer is where I, I actually started it in this image. So there there we are. It's a similar image there. We're actually, um, you can't see it in here, but you'll see that that's the image there that was brought in as a layer in, in that image. Um, so that's it. Um, a simple texture layer. Creating your own. Okay. Bye-bye.